Uh, so I'm Ségolène Jackman, uh, co-founder of uh, Façon Jacquemin, together with my uh, twin sister, Alexandra. Um, we started the brand five years ago, Façon Jacquemin. We wanted to, um, to create a wardrobe for women that empowers them. Uh, and, and we did that by choosing the, the denim as a main uh, core fabric, because denim has that capacity of um, yeah, of, of uh, giving a, a strong uh, feeling, like you feel really empowered when you have uh, denim on. Um, but we wanted to to innovate around uh, the denim, to use it in a different way, because the, the jeans coats are quite uh, present and sometimes uh, we, we thought it was, um, was a pity that yeah. we could not use that fabric that is so... Uh, loved by everyone and w worn by everyone yeah. in a different way. So we really thought there was um, was in it would be interesting to to use it differently and in a whole wardrobe. So not just jeans, jackets, or pants, but really like um, could be bodies, body suits, or dresses, or uh, whatever, uh, like very feminine uh, pieces, but with that strong fabric that could. You, you could have a real uh, yeah uh, mix yeah. of m very feminine but also very masculine because sometimes that fabric is quite strong so it could have a masculine um, side yeah so yeah that's uh, that's how we we launched uh, the brand I, I was in directly in, in love with the proposition Alex uh, made because Alex Alexandra my sister is the designer. And I was I come from a totally different um, background, <laughs> but I wanted to to um, launch my business and and do something myself. And when I heard about denim, uh, something was really concrete, really um, uh, accessible in some way. Uh, I, I thought, oh yeah, very interesting to use denim in a more designed uh, way more haute couture or more high-end way yeah. so i think it's yeah that's that's the the short story yeah. of, of façon jacquemin and um and and voila now we have a team of four and uh, my sister and i <laughs> that's amazing so one thing that i know the brand is known for especially because denim is something that sometimes can be an unsustainable fabric yes i mean so much water Yes. is used to make denim like very water intensive so can you talk to me about how you guys have sort of innovated in the way that you produce your denim yes um first before going uh, about different aspects of sustainability and how we we really want to uh, we really introduce sustainability in our brand i think the the um, starting point was also that a denim piece the or, or denim pieces the purpose is really to keep uh, your piece the whole life because of the fabric that is okay requires a lot of water but it's um, quite resistant uh, and you can wash it and, and you know don't need to it's not delicate yeah. it's a resistant uh, fabric that you can wash yourself and and like a piece that you can pass from generation to generation so that was also the idea like a denim <laughs> jacket that you could you know Keep on, keep on wearing the, your whole life, and that you say, oh, yeah, I remember I had that that piece for forty years, and it's still uh, perfect, and yeah. it's it's being better and better actually because of the the the, yeah, the texture the, and even yeah. the fading and the... yes, exactly, uh, and also in some some way um, some models are quite timeless as well. So because of the fabric that is resistant, there are also some really timeless models. It is sustainable in that way, but then of course, yeah, the the, the denim is cotton um, and and requires a lot of, of water. So we started working with um, organic denims. Uh, also, we working with uh, many Japanese and Italian denims. So for sure, Japan. J Japan Sorry to, to interject. Can I ask you a bit que a big question? A lot of people that are really into denim. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't say I'm a denim expert, so it's good to ask you is, what is it about Japan that a lot of people like Japanese denim and say that Japanese yeah. denim is high quality? Um, two main um, points that um, make the denim in Japan 
better and um, first it's the color um, the the indigo colors shades they, they get it's, I mean it's their own recipe but they, they it's much much better it's a very intense blue indigo blue um, and Japan was actually it's both natural indigo and synthetic indigo they they are one of the last countries that um, work with natural indigo uh, it's hard to find another most of suppliers don't work anymore with natural indigo because demand is declining I, I, I guess but that, that blue is beautiful but even the, the synthetic blues are so much nicer it's very intense blue less um uh yeah brighter or it's hard to de describe the but you yeah you can see i remember yeah. my sister asking me the the first yeah um, the first season when we launched a brand japanese day, i was like oh wow but that is <laughs> why it's the most expensive denim yeah please. but then very quick I, I also saw the difference that it's less grayish. Less, so that's one of the two points. And then the second point is the the weaving machines. They have super good weaving machines that tight the denim, that weave the denim more tightly. So more intense. So the the, um, uh, the weaving, I don't know how you say in English, but yeah, the weaving is tighter. Yeah, yeah. So it creates a more delicate, more refined, uh, toile um, yeah. because of the weaving yeah uh, yeah those are the two main points and of course it's more resistant because it's more yeah tightly, uh, woven, tightly woven together woven together yeah yeah um, those, are those things and of course for us it was also we went there uh, visiting the the the, the weaving uh, fabric it's um, Japan is also very uh, uh, respecting environment, so they have a, a water treatment installation that purifies the water they reject to into the nature. That is really, you know, uh, we 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 took samples from the water going into the nature, and it's like very clear water. They have uh, controls every day of that water going out. So it was also uh, in that way the. Um, for us, uh, a relief to know, okay, it's also made and very uh, uh, sustainable and, and uh, eco-conscious way. Yeah. Respecting nature. And... Yeah, that's amazing. So what is it about Antwerp that made you found the brand here? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I, I first started with a fashion truck. Uh, in the weekends, it uh, was amazing, was next uh, around the corner uh, and it was a great experience. Uh, I thought the, the ladies, the, the public, the, the consumers here are... Uh, 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 um, the, the women are looking for very nice um, new brands, creative brands. They, they, they take care of themselves and the, the, the clothes they wear, they are very fashionable i would say in some way and yeah probably also the school the fashion academy in antwerp could probably has um has a, a role to play it it's a very um, fashion city actually people b both in terms of yeah uh, students and artists and and uh, creative talents yeah but also in terms of uh, which is uh, important when you have a shop of course um, in terms of consumers, the, the women here, I have the impression, maybe it's a, I generalize, but I, I think we have the shop now for three years and uh, I can compare with other cities. I have the impression the women like to uh, to be aware of new new things, new uh, brands, clothes. Uh, voilà. they, they have a, they like to spend a budget on, on their clothes. Oh well, that's so, that's, that's that's definitely amazing for a brand hmm? to have. That's yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. for a brand to have yeah, a customer base. Next but. to that, if if I think just in terms of Antwerp and less connected to the shop or the clothes or whatever or fashion, I think it's a it's a very amazing city. I was living in Brussels before. No, I live in Antwerp. It's a it's a very nice city. Very yeah, creative. Um, uh, creative atmosphere. Um, it's, of course, it's you cannot compare Antwerp to Brussels, but I, I like me because it's it's clean and still it's yeah. it's a city. It's not a village, and 
Oh, I like the vibes. Maybe, um, <laughs> I, um, yeah. yeah. Coming from Brussels, I, um, I really like Brussels as well before, but now I'm very happy to be here. It's uh, also the, the the restaurants, the bars, the very creative uh, neighborhoods and and bars, and I really like the atmosphere here. Wow. So another question I have to ask is, considering that the brand revolves mainly around a fabric, a specific fabric, which is denim, what are some difficulties that arise because of that? You mean for me or for my sister or for, for in both general? in for general? Both? Hmm. Uh, I, uh, difficult question because um, for me, not really difficulty. I remember people. To the beginning saying, oh, are you sure? <laughs> Only denim, but, uh, at one moment you will be, uh, also my family will be bored uh, wearing denim. And, but uh, to be really, really honest, I've never had that feeling like, oh, again, denim, because every piece is different in the washing and the color and the cut and the thickness. So, and you can do so many things. Um, also towards clients, I, I don't have impression that, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a choice. Also, my sister, I don't think she's, um, she's, she feels blocked or constraints. Yeah. Um, plus, we, we introduced uh, some, it's a small uh, part, but some other fabrics to contrast uh, the denim and, and create reliefs, relief with other pieces, other fabrics. So, um, we don't feel it's a constraint for us. Maybe I should ask a question again to to Alex, but like even short time ago, I, I asked and still uh, yeah. happy with the choice because you know when you design it, it's completely different than my position. And but no, I I also observe her. I don't have the impression she feels uh, constraints. Still many uh, domains to to, um, to to develop or to yeah uh, yeah yeah. Um, so. How do you feel like the landscape of Antwerp fashion has changed since when the brand started? Uh, um, la Antwerp landscape. Oh, that's hard to say. Um, so at that time I, w I was less in Antwerp, but okay, I was aware, I was following a bit the, the trends, but... Um, you mean... If you say Antwerp, you mean retail or, or both, Antwerp both, designers? Both. I just want people to have a sense of yeah, like yeah. how the... It's hard to say. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't know since I started and, and specifically for Antwerp. I would say it's a sector in general that um, that is quite um, uh, changing all the time. Like uh, one des many designers, new designers come in, others stop the brand. So it's it's very um, changing and evolving all the time. New designers, uh, designers stop. So it's constant, um, you know, waves. Uh, it's my impression, maybe. Um, yeah. But I, I guess it's uh, it's a bit uh, it's a special sector, I would say, in general. Maybe in Antwerp uh, it's different, but um, no, I I think the the. Uh, Flemish or Belgian designers uh, or new designers that have come and um, um, f oh, what's it? I, I have the impression the, the the new Belgian brands that come are good brands yeah and I, I, I'm which I am proud of it I, I think Belgian design is uh, is good probably <laughs> thanks to the academy as well or La Combre and Brussels yeah. I don't know if you know You've heard about that fashion yeah. school, and yeah. was, it's a very famous school as well. So we have two very good yeah. fashion schools in Belgium, which is quite nice. But okay, if, uh, Antwerp or, or broader, Bel the fashion sector is, is very uh, in movement, and yeah. which makes it um, challenging and also um, you, you continuously uh, try to be at the top, change things, innovate, you know, it's not because, you, yeah, you do, you never, um, you never, 
like, ah, okay, now we just do what we do and we constantly <laughs> evolve. thinking, trying to evolve, to to surprise yourself and, and you know, the public. And... Yeah. So when I first came to Antwerp, actually, I'm not sure if you know, like, Caroline from Momu? No. no. Yeah, but she, she gave me a fashion tour. Yes. Um, all the places about fashion in Antwerp. Yes, yes, then, yes, of Momi, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know, and I know, she showed me the store, the which is why yeah, yeah. I was um, very interested to like, find out yeah. about the store because she was telling me about the denim and how it's known for the denim. And it seems that people in Antwerp, there's a clear understanding that this store, you come here and you get really high quality denim. But I think my question is, what makes the brand different to, say, other denim brands? Yes. I think it's the style, for sure, uh, because, okay, you have many denim, or many, may, maybe not many, many, but you have some denim brands, but I think the style, how we use the denim and the cuts and then the style, like uh, feminine elegance, but still that masculinity, the mix of the boats, um, yeah, I think this is uh, recognizable for for Fasson Jacquemin, uh, the style of the whole collection, the whole, the, the, the whole. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think also piece by piece you, you, you can recognize, I think my, my sister likes to um, um, revisit the coats, the jeans yeah. coats, um, and, and that is something that is recognizable, how she uh, also deconstruct pieces to reconstruct them those um, how she puts jeans coats in a different way on a totally un unexpected place or those things uh, and the style and the, the, the design of the, the pieces are quite uh, unique I would say it's yeah. not uh, we are not Levi's or, uh, <laughs> well. yeah I mean yeah I mean if you look at Levi's the style is very I don't know what the right word to use is it's plain is not the right word but they have a very mm -hmm. the style is not creative it's just the plain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, plain is not the I'm still not no, using no, the right uh, word yeah, but, I'm, I'm uh, also very streetwear yeah um, so yeah I, I know what you mean because plain uh, of course they also yeah. probably have uh, <laughs> uh, many washed um, special washed uh, pieces so creates less plain pieces it's more the but silhouette it's more, um, that's more it's, plain yeah yeah and it's probably i mean uh, it's it's not bad eh? i'm uh, i think it's a very cool and great brand but more streetwear and the, with the typical jeans coats yeah and we we like to give it a twist to 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 play with those coats to remove the coats of jeans to yeah, to, to to give a twist to the pieces and and, and also um, have that femininity, yeah, uh, that feminine aspect in in making the yeah the denim more yeah different. Yeah, so I have more technical technical questions to ask because my audience that's probably what they'll love Wait, the most. Maybe I will need to call my sister. <laughs> maybe she can help. Shoot, yeah. But um, first things first, what makes high quality denim like what about uh let's say a pair of jeans makes it high quality uh for what well, i love about uh, i'm reacting uh, very spontaneously what i lo love about our jeans but um it's that you normally people expect when you buy a jeans you after a few days wearing it will uh, loose yeah get more loose but um uh, for instance, we don't have that, so um, I think I, I like it because I, I've always uh, disliked that when I bought pants before and after one week it's like a bag or I think, <laughs> oh no, I bought too, bag, too big and then you know how it was <laughs> anyway. But so um, that's probably also the, uh, due to the quality of the denim that the weaving is tight and then it, get, it, it keeps the shape. Um, high quality denim. Um, yeah, of course. The for me, the 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 blue shade, the color, also important. I think a further question to ask would be like, for example, the wash of denim. How is it that some jeans 
when you buy them and you put them in the wash, the, it loses colour very easily and then some don't. What um, is that in yeah, the dyeing yeah, process actually, being very high quality? Yes, or what, actually, what it's also it? one of the, um, the points about Japanese denim. We also explain it on the on the website, and I knew I had the third point, and I forgot. Um, but they We've do, come round to it. Yeah, yeah, but um, they do eight buds of color of dyeing. They also explained to us when we went there, and we saw the the whole process, um, where like I don't know countries that are big producers of denim, like Turkey, or um, they they do four. But mainly yeah. in general, it's like that. So it's like double more dyeing work. So you you are more sure about that that color that stays, uh, which yeah I think is important. Uh, even if you like when you know with time it fades, but you don't want the color to go yeah, too completely fast different. away. Yeah, <laughs> like you you like when you worn your jacket for 10 years and then by then yeah. you're okay but then if it's after one wash and it's like all the white <laughs> things uh yeah yeah sure that's also one very important aspect of of the quality of denim and that is for instance very um different in japan yeah yeah okay so the last question i have to ask is if a woman comes into the store and they don't know much about denim and they could want to buy something what would you recommend um i'm thinking two or three pieces she but she 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 doesn't know about denim what do you mean yeah she's she not just, I, yeah. I just need to to yeah give her i mean we have one a uh, very interesting piece, uh, I think, I mean, we have more, but um, um, let me first think if I take that one, because now we have had quite some pieces and I have many favorite ones, <laughs> uh, but we have one with, um, it's a dress, that's also something I like, because you, you would not expect at all that type of dress, It's she's called a ru ruby dress, it's a zipped, um, you have two zips, one in the front and one at the back, also, the zips create a very um, seductive side, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, it's a very nice uh, dress with uh, very elegant shoulders. And the fact that that type of dress, you you have it in denim, it's quite uh, unique, I think. Uh, it's very elegant, very feminine, but th that the fact that the fabric is denim creates a very rough, powerful aspect. Yeah. And that I like that mix of, of and that's actually what, what my sister likes to do, it's having that mix or that clash or that contrast. Yeah. Femininity, elegance, but then there is something very rigid and yes, yes. partly masculine. So, yeah. yeah, and that, that dress is really very well uh, fitted on the on the body of many women actually different bodies uh, the dress uh, fits um, all bodies so I think it's a very interesting piece and an iconic piece I would say yeah okay thank you so much uh, you're, you're, you're actually amazing honestly oh, okay.